my name is Lynette and I'm a registered nurse. I'm going to be completing a pregnancy exam today. Emily is my patient. Emily, do you agree to be a patient for an exam? Yes. Do you agree to have the exam um, sent electronically to Element? Yes. I, Emily. I, Emily. Give permission. Give permission. To send this video electronically to Element. To send this video electronically to Element. Okay. So to begin the exam, we're going to scan the room. Show the note cards. The exam begins with me washing my hands. Emily um, has been made comfortable before the exam. We make sure that the room is warm for her. She's in a comfortable position. Uh, they asked Emily to empty her bladder to give her um, the best comfort. She is gravid one pair of zero. She's 14 weeks pregnant. She, we did vital signs at the beginning of the exam. Um, blood pressure 114 over 78, heart rate of 90, respiration is 18 and easy, temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. She's 162 centimeters in height, 72 kilograms in weight, with a BMI of 27.5. To begin the exam, I'm actually going to perform a head and neck exam on Emily. So, palpating, looking for any tenderness, lesions, anything like that, looking at her hair. Her hair is thick and shiny and soft. We're going to um, move on to an eye exam. When I'm doing the eye exam, I'm actually, um, I'm just gonna have you look up and I'm gonna look at the eyes. Okay. I'm um, noting for any pallor in the eyes, any jaundice in the eyes, um, Emily's eyes look normal. I'm now going to um, look in the, Look in the nares. Okay. Um, her nares are moist. No masses noted in there. I'm gonna go ahead and look to a mouth oral exam on her. Okay. Go ahead and stick your tongue out. Very good. Looking at her gums. Her gums are pink. Her oral cavity is moist. Her teeth are good. No caries noted. At this point, I'm going to um, palpate the thyroid and have Emily swallow. Can you swallow for me, Emily? Good. The thyroid is soft, it is midline. Okay. We're gonna move into an assessment of Emily's lungs. I'm gonna start by auscultating the sounds. I'm going to percuss the back of the lungs. As I'm um, assessing Emily's lungs, I'm noting for any um, accessory muscle use. Uh, you know, at 14 weeks, you're not going to see um, diaphragmatic elevation. As the pregnancy gets further on, you would note that. Um, again, um, you know, anterior lung sounds will be auscultated. Again, respirations look easy. There's no accessory muscle use. There's no ronchi. There's no rels. There's no wheezes with Emily. I'm going to go in and listen to the heart sounds now using the diaphragm and the bell. Aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, mitral. Again, that was aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. I'm now going to feel the apical pulse, and that's at the fifth intercostal. I'm going to go ahead and feel Emily's lymph nodes, posterior and anterior, pre and posterior, supraclavicular, and 
maxillary, mental, and axillary. Again, noting for any tenderness or enlargement of the lymph nodes, there is not on Emily. At this point, uh, we're going to defer the breast exam. But if we were doing the breast exam, we would um, be looking for any masses or any tenderness on Emily's breast. We would go ahead and compress the nipples, looking for any abnormal discharge, um, noting the symmetry of the breasts as well. Okay, I'm gonna have Emily on the deck a little bit, so go ahead and get comfortable, Emily. Okay. At 14 weeks, you are not going to see um, any frank abdominal expansion yet as the baby is um, still relatively small than Emily, but we would go ahead and um, perform some very light palpation of the abdomen. Um, again, you know, looking for any um, linea nigra, any, any obvious scarring, any striae, anything like that. Um, at this point, again, um, there's no fetal movement, there's no contractility going on. We would go ahead and measure um, the fundus, and we would uh, do that from the pelvic bone up to the top of the uterus. That actually gets started being measured between 12 and 14 weeks, so this is the point of the pregnancy that we would begin that, that measurement um, on a monthly basis. Okay, um, again, as the pregnancy develops further, we would start assessing fetal heart sounds. We do not have a Doppler at this time, but if we were to be using the Doppler, we'd go ahead and again, um, have the Doppler right on Emily's um, lower abdomen. Uh, we would make sure that we're looking for a heart rate, a fetal heart rate of 120 to 160 beats a minute. Um, and if there was any question in place, we could go ahead and assess Emily's radial pulse uh, in comparison to the fetal heart rate to make sure that the Doppler is picking up the baby's heart rate, not the mom's. Okay, um, the genitalia and rectal exams would again, are again being deferred. However, the genitalia exam would involve both the external and the internal genitalia. The external genitalia would be noting um, any cysticeles, any varicosities, any rectocele, things like that. Um, we'd go ahead and palpate the Bartholas and Skeen's glands for tenderness or any cysts noted. Um, you know, again, the internal exam would be um, noting the color and shape of the, the cervix. We would complete a pap smear if it was not done. We'd go ahead and do a um, biannual vaginal exam. And again, noting the pelvic floor strength, um, noting the condition of the cervix, the uterus, things like that. Um, the rectal exam would note any hemorrhoids. Uh, we would want to note a, um, an intact uh, rectovaginal uh, uh, septum. Um, moving, once we were done with that, we would go ahead and um, perform the Leopold exam. Now the Leopold's exam um, involves four different positionings of me, again, basically um, assessing the location of the baby to make sure the baby's in the correct position. So the Leopold exam would be assessing on the top of the baby. And here, you know, you're wanting to feel the baby's feet and the baby's buttocks. That's what you're, you're hoping if the baby's in the correct position. Next, you would palpate the sides of the abdomen, each side. You should be feeling the baby's feet, the baby's elbows, the baby's hands, things like that. Um, the third maneuver of Leopold is taking one hand and putting it at, that, um, at the bottom uh, of the abdomen. And again, we're looking um, for the head. You want to make sure that the baby's head's in the right position. And last, the fourth Leopold um, maneuver would be using both hands. And again, you're noting the... Um, the cephalic presentation, which way is the baby face it, which way is that head. Okay, I'm gonna have Emily sit up, and we're gonna do a couple of more things. At this point, we're looking for bilateral extremity edema. Now, as the pregnancy increases, and most especially during hot weather, it is common to see some edema in a pregnant woman. Looking today at Emily, there's no lower extremity edema. I'm gonna go ahead and feel for PO pulses. She has a Strong bilateral uh, pedal pulses. We're going to go ahead and do deep tendon reflexes. That's the patellar and the Achilles. What we're looking for here is hyperreflexia. Hyperreflexia would be an indication that Emily could be suffering from preeclampsia. Good. And she's got normal um, deep tendon reflexes. Okay, that concludes the pregnancy exam.